days. Uh-oh. Sassy time. Uh, what? So how's everyone doing otherwise? I do wonder. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just flapping my lips. No, your fingers, because you're typing. <laughs> oh, one of the batteries has gone poof. That's sad. Okay, so actually, yeah, we have the chip thing. The ship engine. Oh, bloody hell. A hundred uranium for each? Fifteen advanced components? That's insane. Oh, man. And we need three of them, right? Three ship engine. Oh, ah. The problem is, if I build this here and we get a raid, they'll probably try to destroy it. Oh, man. That's in that's ridiculous. <coughs> Metal, did you Stalker 2? Yeah, I saw. They're making Stalker 2. It's pretty exciting. I hope it's not going to be as buggy as clunk and clunky as the previous ones. Severe case of wrong chat. I'm on vacation. Here, Cheeky Breaky intensifies. Get out of here, Stalker! Dum, 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 dum. Craft Bionic Leg complete. Uh, well, upgrade Bionic Leg. What else are we doing here? Test the nuclear reactor. Oh yeah, type X or type V ad uh, 5 advanced reactor and begin producing power. <coughs> well, that's crazy. Clunky or not was a good series. Yeah, I, I especially enjoyed the last one, the um, Call of Pripyat. That was... I should return to it again. I think just recently I read about a graphical overhaul mod that makes it apparently look pretty awesome. <coughs> it was. The modding scene around it was great too. Me, I spent half the day watching your car mechanic let's play. Man, the one radiator fan was really a hidden gremlin. Yeah, that was... You know, here's the funny thing. While uh, going across my old emails, I actually saw that they sent me a key for... World War... I think it was World War II Plane Mechanic Simulator. And I never... Never actually did it, so... I mean, it's been a long time, so... Eh, I don't know. But I, I suppose we could do it. I mean, I've, I've done a lot of previews for them, so I don't think they would mind. Not Dutch Duster, good, but good nonetheless. <laughs> By the MC... I forgot to say this so many times, but you can just call me Nightmare or Night. Yeah, but Nightmare and Starlight Gaming? <laughs> That's fine. We shall do that! So, how much uranium do we have? 23! Oh, bloody hell! We'll need loads of uranium for that, so let's stop making... Okay, it, this is suspended. Wow, we'll need loads of uranium. There. So all of the stuff that they harvest here now will get transported. That's pretty cool. What else is really annoying that should get transported? Chunks, but you cannot really, you know, do that anywhere properly. Bionic hand. Let's see. Left turn, right turn, in wall roller. Uh, pusher. Equipped with an advanced sensor, able to push an alter route of configured goods between rails. Also transmits power to nearby electronics and rollers. Okay. Uh, puller? Spitter, uh, splitter roller. <laughs> Spitter. Growing zone. Oh, so this is just for the growing zone. Okay. Underground roller output. So, it seems... Pull selected items from a connected stockpile. And this one... Okay. Equipped with zone scanner able to conditionally pull resources, making sure to feed items until selected stockpile is full. That's pretty cool. What we could do is bring stone chunks from there to here, to the wooden sculptor's table. It would be pretty expensive just to automate that, but... Eh, I don't know. Uh, and so forth, you'll be known as Snowflake. Who's Rainium? Hello, Shindlabua! Welcome to the stream. Uh, nobody's Rainium. <laughs> The Call of Chernobyl mod is massive. All three game maps in one mod, with extra mods to add weapons, faction warfare, and more loot. 
some of the most fun I've had in a long time. All three game games maps in one mod. Whoa, that's crazy. If it only was more stable. Yeah, that's stalker for you. Get out of your stalker. Right, so who was the one not happy about not having cybernetics? Deadman's armor. Why are you still wearing that? Take it off. There you go. Mm, cabin fever. Wow, lots of people having nothing to do. No mayoral office. Cabin fever. Feeling terrible. There we go. Hal Gents. Um, so he's got... Oh, right eye. He's also prostophil. Okay. He's got a scar on the right eye. That's not very good. Toad. Triviata. Torazol. There we go, Torazol. Left pinky destroyed. Uh, stall. Left hand. There you go. That's what we need. Just dropping in real quick to say hello to everyone since then it's been a while. Have lots of fun, MC. Hello, Chaotic Neutralist. Shame you can't stay. But thanks for saying hi anyway. Most fun I had was when I met this girl in Hungary, Budapest. <laughs> no, we don't want to hear that. <laughs> Having all nine factions is amazing. The faction warfare mods gives the game so much replaying power. You know, you'll probably think me weird. Well, you probably do anyway. But I never really liked the whole killing humans in uh, stalker games. I always wanted my perfect stalker game to have barely any humans in it, but mostly you know, exploration of creepy environments with monsters and mutants and stuff like that. Um, I absolutely hated the first one where you had to, you know, fight so many bandits, just never-ending bandits, and they had, they were respawning all the time. It was just, ugh, horrible. Okay, so we need uranium, but it's not available, of course. We'll need to call that ship for a thousand silver. Uh, right, so smoke leaf joints we can sell. They do have some money. Medicine. That's quite expensive. Muffler leather. Hyperweave. Devil strand. Synth dread. Well, muffler wool. A thousand of it. Two thousand cloth. Jeez. Lots of plasteel. Whoa, that's all. We've got seven thousand plasteel. Come on. Beer. We've got no beer. Oh yeah, of course, because we've got no hops. Well, it's not much then. We can... Sandstone sculpture. Yeah, we can sell these as well. Yeah. Boop. Uh, my most favorite game I ever played would have to be Metro Last Light. Yeah, Metro games are fun. Linear, but fun. You need... Who's uranium? No. Nobody's uranium. <laughs> Next up, the Uranus jokes. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's all disappearing and, and animals are eating. Look, they're going crazy because... Oh, no. There's 1,400 of it there. Wow. That's pretty nice. And the thing is going... Bloop, bloop. That's cool. Another battery breaking down. That's not nice. Oh, you know what? You know what the um, conveyors could be quite useful for? For a chicken coop. Um, and unfertilized eggs. You know, just as soon as they appear, transport... Ah, no, you cannot... Tra no, yeah, yeah. Transport them to the freezer. Yeah. That would work. Who's operating, actually? Torazul. Oh, somebody has already operated on him. I don't know who, but he's gonna be happy now. Prostophila has bionic body part. I'm a product of modern technology. I can do everything better. Oh, I love that game. Also made, uh, wanted to try Stalker. Same here, but laptop could never run any games. I can hardly run RimWorld. Ouch. You need to get a better PC. Come on. Um, games are fun. Would be good with an underground surveyor belt. Uh, like in Factorio. Yeah. Just those underground belts seem to be extremely expensive. Input, underground roller, output. 
Okay, they one component five blast deal. But where's the underground one straight up? What? Where are they? Okay. I don't see the underground ones, just the input and output. No idea. Maybe you can... Ah, there you go, look at that! Oh, that's cool. No, wait a second. No, that's not it. I thought you could just drag it, but I don't know. No idea. I know MC, I would love a PC, even if it's just a small one. I want to play RimWorld without my PC lagging or choking on itself. Well, if if you don't want to spend too much money on a on a new PC, you can buy some pretty nice budget ones. You know, it's it's not gonna run the latest games at the highest graphics, but you can buy some pretty good stuff for a reasonable price. Hey, at least you have one. Uh, one, my PC crapped out on me so I can't play any games anymore. Oh, that would, I would be in panic at that point. <laughs> for 800 euros you can get something that runs RimWorld perfectly. Yeah, probably for even, for even less. I don't think RimWorld is that, um, you know, it, it probably uses more CPU power than GPU just because of all the stuff that's going on and all the all the tiles and never ten. Drifter is no longer incapable of walking. I looked on eBay and I found I found one for eighty nine eighty nine. Not really sure I would go for used ones. Well, I suppose depend depends on what they were used for and what kind of condition they're in. If I had to pick between the two Metro games, I'd pick the first one. Both were good, but the first one felt so much more intense. Um, yeah, difficult to say, but yeah. Electric stove broke. One big fat guy is not going to be happy about that. That's for sure. Somebody better repair that. Yeah, but for 800 you can run anything available. None of the highest settings, but would run anything. Uh, and we have a bionic leg now, right? Why did we make that in the first place? Was it for... Oh, Alira! He got his leg shot off, didn't he? Right leg cut off. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, bionic leg. Right leg. Wait, bionic leg? I thought we... W upgrade bionic leg. Okay, not yet. Not yet. That's why he was moving so slowly. I was I saw him and... Wait. He, you know, thinking he moves... He, he's moving slowly. That's why. Ray, that will be blood in the streets. Oh. <laughs> the broken uh, kitchen, the broken stove. Nom 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 nom. Look at everyone eating. So the insect meat is still there. Nobody making bloody kibble. Make four kibble. Forever. Excuse me. Peg leg for now gets the hook handset bonus. <laughs> but sadly, I have no goddamn money. That's the one thing I hate about this world and life. It's all about money and it's stupid. It's all anyone thinks of. Uh, what happening of being able to think of anything? Well, we can rebuild them. We have the technology. No, we don't. Well, we have the peg legs. <laughs> so who's, who's, who's going to do this? Upgrade bionic leg. Need the third could do it. Need material. What? They made a. What do they need? They need a bionic leg. Oh, five energized components. Okay, I see. I see. We need five energized components. Make them now. I'm a big fat guy, I kind of like the DLC for Last Light and the gun's customization, but yeah, the first one was way more intense. We can job, buy part per part, scout the market of neighboring countries, many solutions. Yeah, building your own PC is probably the best way to go. Cheapest and, you know, best. You know what you're getting, you know what it'll be capable of, you know it's not going to be 
you know, put together badly just because, you know, somebody has to do it. Like, you need money just to get up and live. Yep. That's how it works. Hook hand. Scyther blade. Well, we have another good sculpture. Um, hmm. Is that Alira's? No, that's Dr. Loco. Could put that there, I suppose. Put that there. Uh, what is Dries? Is he an ascetic? No. Okay, so he'll he'll like that. Wow, he's got 17 and groaning. He's extremely interested in all of those. Very interesting. I'd rather die. Um, let's see. We could call the trade ship for a thousand silver. We have how much silver? Thirteen thousand silver. So we could call them and buy all the uranium they have. But I think I'm gonna wait until we have lots of Oh yeah, we can't even give them the smoke leaf joints or sell them. Let's just call it. Two days to arrive. I hate the fact that you actually have to pay for the trade ship to arrive. I have an old PC with an i5 and a 980 Ti. Should I sell it or what should I do with it? That's pretty good. You should uh, send it to Nightmare in Starlight Gaming. Put that there. Glory to Stotska. So, they've got about a thousand potatoes there. Ship sensor cluster. Excellent. And now the ship antimatter stuff. That's the last thing we need. Oh, ship crypto sleep caskets, of course. We'll need as well. Man, that's a lot of let's let's research this first. Crypto sleep casket and then the ship ones. So now we can also make the sensor cluster. Fifteen advanced components. Okay, that's not that bad. Searching the void for dangers and opportunities. We can put there. Or something. We'll see. Yes, I was about to say that. <coughs> If you live in Sweden. <laughs> oh! Bloody hell, I didn't notice that ship chunk is right there. Let's deconstruct it. <laughs> wow. Well, somebody should come immediately, because we have a lot of people that don't have anything to do. Oh no, I live in Ohio. Yeah, that... That would be... It would probably be more expensive to ship... Well, actually, here's the thing. It might be less expensive to ship the PC to Ohio from Sweden than buying one with that those specs, but um, shipping a PC like that, uh, I think it would be a disaster. Um, especially if you left everything in. If you were to disassemble it and wrap everything, you know, each component by itself and bubble wrap and anti-static stuff and so on, maybe it would survive. I'm not sure, it's especially not about discs and such. I've heard some pretty bad horror stories and the worst thing you could do is just wrap the entire case with the PC built uh, and ship that because all of the vibrations and stuff would just rip the cards and everything apart. Would probably rip off the cooler, the CPU cooler. Would probably rip out the graphics cards. It's just, ah, the shipping costs would be insane. Yeah, but probably not as bad as you think. Still bad, but. Okie dokie. <coughs> the next game we will be giving away is Road to Valhalla. I've no idea actually what that is. But the road to Valhalla will be the next game. So we've got 20 repair kits and 2700 chem fuel. Jeez. Okay, so is, is anyone making energized components? No. We're still making normal components because we have 89 of them and I think I set it to 100. Yes. That's fine. But, why is he making that if energized components are on the top? That's kind of weird. He's still making components. Yeah, still making components. 
Advanced components. That's weird. Yeah. Could it be death skid marks? Nope. Oh man, I cannot wait for the developer, uh, for the artist of Death Skid Marks to make that new game. I've been playing it a bit, and it's so much fun. I, uh, you probably saw my preview of it. The um, what was what was it called? Fish and Superstar X. It's sort of like a very similar thing to Death Skid Marks, but in space, and you know, it's more of that crazy art style he has. Some pretty awesome music, and it's just fun. And coincidentally, he's gonna put me into that game as well as crew members. <laughs> so you can look forward to that. Oh, Sow is pregnant. I don't understand why the game feels the need to do a pip pip to do that. Inspiration, work frenzy, Jay Stank. Well, he's gonna work a little bit more like normal people now, because otherwise he's much slower than them because of the dementia the Judas Priest iOS game what <laughs> how many chicken eggs do we have two still there still unfertilized of course <laughs> what's dark fraggle doing cleaning dirt okay cleaning dirt <laughs> Not really sure why he's up at uh, this time of the day. Or night, disturbed sleep, ate without a table, feeling bad, and had to cancel a date. I was supposed to go on a date with my partner. Partner. But something came up in the colony and we had to cancel. I was looking forward to it. Aww. Who is his date? Wait. Oh, his wife. Hell Gens. Aww. Everyone asleep in the chat? <laughs> there we go, Colony coming back to life. Gentle snow outside. Oh. Anakos is pregnant. Oh no, more doggies. We need to sell them. Lul. Says one big fat guy. Okay, so all of these now have... Look at that. Room 10 infection chance factor 32%. That's pretty good. And of course, these beds now have 116% immunity gain, 17% extra tent quality, 115% uh, rest, 144% surgery chance success, uh, success chance. That's pretty cool. Now just eating. Can you put the stuff in a laptop into a tower? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Technically, you could. But it would be a haphazard thing, or you'd have to do a lot of work trying to get a laptop motherboard in there. It's just not worth the money. You could take um, uh, discs, if they're removable, if you don't have a Mac. <laughs> and you could take... What else? I don't know. I suppose a disc could be the only thing you could really take from a laptop. Possibly RAM, but I think they've got sort of... Special smaller RAM sticks. I don't know. Uh, Lulman's penis or the D word in my language. Well, that's great. <laughs> I'd say no as well. Okay, you wouldn't want to because it's all integrated. Well, if it's a Mac, yeah, it's all integrated. But if otherwise, yeah, it would be just far too much. What's he doing? Oh, he's probably milking Muffalo, yeah. Seriously, if you want a cheap gaming computer, just do some research and buy individual cheap components. Not the cheapest ones, obviously. You want something that'll run stuff reasonably well. And just build it yourself. It's going to be the cheapest and probably rewarding as well. A rewarding experience. It's getting really late for me. It's been awesome seeing you live. Keep up the good work and keep the awesome content coming. Glory to Anastoska. Thank you so much, Starlight. Thanks for uh, joining and for watching. And uh, remember, put that there. That's right. Glory to Arstotska. Well, I've been looking and I need at least 150 to make my own PC. That will be you. That will buy you a motherboard. You're better off just buying a decent last gen desktop parts and then having a GPU when the price hits the point you want. 
RAM and GPU will be the most expensive components. Yeah, I think GPUs will be coming down a bit now. I'm not sure about RAM. I think RAM has skyrocketed in the past few years. It's pretty bad. Man, I, I kind of want... We are going to get a raid soon. We haven't had one for a while. I, I kind of want to build more of the ship. Shield generator. What happened? Oh, it broke down. Okay. Um, I kind of want to build more of the ship, but I'm afraid that if we do get people coming in, they might really damage it or destroy some of the really important components like the uh, engines, which will be extremely expensive to replace. I don't know. So where's that where's that ship? Ten colonists are idle. We should give them something to do. I don't know what though. Maybe build some traps for uh for enemies. Uh where are they? Security, right? Deadfault trap. Let's make some steel ones. Here for example. Because they, they seem to like to go through this little hole here. And they seem to like to congregate around these areas as well. Here, I'll just put the traps in the locations where they can sort of hide. It is 70 steel, so I've got to be a bit careful with how many I put down. <laughs> God, I hate all this trying to understand how to make a PC and know what parts you need hurts my brain. Didn't the price go up because of all the damn Bitcoin? Yeah, it's stupid Bitcoin. Intel Core i3, 8,100 bucks, 109. Yeah, there you go, you're getting uh, a full uh, PC built there. GTX 1050 Ti. That's not bad. Be Quiet Pure Power 10, 500 watts. What the hell is that? I've never heard of that brand before. I don't think you want to skimp on the uh, power supply with a off-brand. Unless, of course, uh, you know, it's some kind of a well-respected brand, in which case I apologize. Under 700. 8100 one fit in H270. Oh, man. I'm kind of tired. So, I think it's time for the giveaway. Be Quiet is a legit brand, but a bit overpriced. I don't know. I I put my stuff on Corsair. Um, I have been extremely happy with my Corsair uh, power supply. Uh, Alright, so. If you would like the game Road to Valhalla, just say me in the chat. And as always, we'll select someone at random. Be Quiet is good stuff. Power supply should always be at least 600 watts. <laughs> At least 600 watts for what? <laughs> Office work? Not a chance. You you could be all right with something much smaller. Of course, it all depends on what kind of things you're running. How many disks? What kind of a processor? What kind of loads you will have? But it's not it's not a case of it needs to be at least 600 watts. If it's an office computer, they can happily run. You know, if it's with with tiny power supplies 200 watts if it's uh, you know a slow processor one disk in there and so on and so forth you always want to have a you know make sure that you have more power than needed though because the one of the worst thing you can do to a processor i mean to uh your your electronic components in a computer is when they're trying to draw more power than your PSU is capable of providing and it, the the problems get much bigger if the PSU is of poor quality and doesn't actually deal well with that or or with over voltage and such and it, it can and will fry your components it's not a pretty sight i never skimp on the power supply never it's it's it can be tempting because you know there's pretty big price differences but never never skimp on it uh Blah, 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 blah. Corsair is good stuff, except the VS line, those are crap. Corsair, you are. Mateus, blah, blah, blah. What? You buy PSUs? It's easier just to cut wires and plug directly <laughs> into sockets. The electricity is almost more <laughs> pure since PSUs contaminate it with low quality lead. <laughs> I like that. You want pure electricity for your computer. <laughs> 